It's your boy Mac Daddy A16. I got the number one podcast, Chat with the Mac Podcast. You can check that on my channel on YouTube, Mac Daddy A16. I'm a gamer. Also, our gaming videos you can check out too. I fall, I fall out, man. A little bit of everything. My content is wet. Dope. You gotta see it. You have to motherfucking see it. You feel me? Here's all my, all my information to my account. To my Instagram, my YouTube, my Twitch, my Venmo, my PayPal. Taking donations too to help build my channel. So I can continue to drop more content for y'all. I'm bringing that heat that I've been looking for. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and follow your boys. I'm coming. It's your boy, Mac Daddy 816 man. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mac Daddy 816 It's another video, reaction video. It's Reggie Wright, man. I guess he's calling Kane for Menace of Society in closet. He say, not in closet. Yes, he's in the closet. Homo. Call him Kane for Menace of Society, a homo, man. Gotta find out what he's talking about on that. They're talking about Kane, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Let's see what he talk about, y'all. Hey, Reggie, before we get into um, this week's questions, um, is there anything you want to speak on or talk about before we get into it? Oh man, yeah, it's gonna be a great week, great week of episodes, y'all. But um, a couple of things, right quick. Y'all see, I'm wearing my boy Big Flossy uh, t-shirt made, made for players. Y'all make sure y'all go to his YouTube channel or his website, his social media, and help support Big Flossy. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie, I like that name, made for the players. I like that. That's a, dope, that's a dope little name right there for sure. Shout out to whoever that is, man. Got that shirt called Made for the Players. That's dope. From the OBC, appreciate if y'all do that. Matter of fact, I got another person, John. This is one of your old friends. Uh, he sent me some stuff in the mail that he wanted us to help promote right quick. And uh, if y'all want to buy some stickers and stuff like this, some death row stuff, death row coloring books, John will post up the uh, how y'all can get it. It's a, a it's a nice page, color books for on Tupac. And stuff like that for y'all. Y'all like the color, or y'all kids like the color. I don't know what the the purpose of it is for. for, for. This nigga selling coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. He's selling coloring books, bro. He talking about he getting his money. You know what I'm saying? He tell he Reggie Robbie talking about everybody talking about everybody broke. They ain't getting no money. They this, they that, they this, they that. He out here selling color death row coloring books, bro. You probably sell forty fifty dollars. Like, come on, bro. Come on now. Come on, Scraggy. Come on, Scraggy. You can't even hold a damn book up, man. Shit. Forty year old men, other than the buying for y'all kids or something. But I know a lot of y'all like stuff like this. So my boy, uh, Risky. Y'all seen him over on the Art the Dialogue channel. Y'all may have saw him over here with John. On Bob first before in the early to mid two thousands. Go over and support him. Hopefully, John will put up the link where y'all can order that stuff. Uh, other than that, John, I think we all uh, about ready to uh, go. Start off the week. So once again, I uh, I forgot, forgot, and I like to add to the lastly but least. Make sure you guys uh. Tune in over at Vlad this week. Vlad TV. James and I got a new uh, segment going on over there. Uh, we're still going to do some steel bombings when we really need to get radical and respond to some stuff. But we have some stuff over at Vlad as well. Uh, Reggie and James Mob Ruin. Or Mob, Mob James Ruin or some shit. I forgot the name of it, but y'all be saying the name of it. Uh, some upcoming um, episodes over here on Vlad TV. Come over there and support us as well. Uh, okay. Um, so Tyron Turner did an interview and, um, he was kind of asked about a segment that you did. I want to say it was over a year ago in regards to a situation with him and Michelle and then, um, apparently, you know, a fight that happened, but anyhow, he was asked about this and, um, number one, he denied it. And then number two, he acted like he wasn't sure who you were. 
and then he went on to say something kind of negative about your wife. Uh, did you see this? And do you have any comments about anything that he addressed in his interview? Kyle Ren Turner, Turner, the modern day Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. Uh, you ever notice how in every one of his stories that he has the interviewer to uh, to ask him about? He always beating up somebody, but then he's trying to act like they all good now. Yeah. I want to clear up a few things. <laughs> I want to clear up a few things right quick. And I'm not. We all know, Reggie, you can't beat up nobody. And how you know, how you know Tyron got no hands, baby? Well, that's came from Mr. Society. You see how he whooped on old, on old boy on that motherfucker when he, uh, on homegirl's cousin, was, her, was that her cousin? Jack, she tried to act like she had a baby bomb and shit like that. Well, she prayed him by, he whooped that nigga ass quickly. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. You don't know if that man got hands or not. You know what I'm saying? If he got into a fight with your ass, you know, damn well, whoop your ass for sure, Rich. Come on now. I'm not going to belittle all of it too much. But, matter of fact, I don't call Yuck Ma. Just to prove, because Reggie bring receipts when he talk about stuff. To prove that this clown ass nigga know who Reggie Wright is. Because when it was a story being told about him getting whooped on that rap a lot, how he got all in his feelings like he did with me. This is how a typical video editor works. Oh. With my boy Yuck Mouth. Called Yuck Mouth. Got him and Yuck Mouth on the phone. And got it worked out. How niggas always do with Reggie. Reggie get in the middle and work out shit with my But he don't know me. Okay. But he didn't call me. He don't even know my name. Okay. Well, let's call Yuck Mouth and see what he said. John, call Yuck Mouth right quick for me. But it was an incident about a year ago, I think, where you had mentioned something. And then he uh, got upset and he reached out to me because he knew I had a relationship with you. As I explained. Do you remember that? Yeah, I called me. Go yeah, ahead. I called me. It was a um, situation uh, over uh, that happened at Rapper Life when we were in Houston. So I told uh, somebody else side of the story. He wanted to you know, tell his side of the story. So that's basically what it was. But he was kind of angry. Because the, the side of the story I told, you know what I mean, didn't favor him. You know and, I mean? we'll get, so, and we'll get into that one later. But I just wanted to verify, but did you, was it me that called or was it him that called or how did the call come to you? Because it was taping doing, you was actually taping. No, nah, I, was, I was actually taping. I was on the podcast live, but uh, you called me. Then you threw him on the phone. He said Tyron wanted to talk to me. So he got on the phone and then, you know. Yeah, I worked it out. We talked about what he wanted to talk about, right? We worked it out. But it was a misunderstanding, you know. But you you made that call. I didn't even didn't call my number. You called my number. With him on the phone on the freeway. Yeah, all I'm so, just trying to verify the people that the brother trying to say, like, he don't even know who I am. But that's just how Tyron is, I guess. I don't really know him like that. So y'all hear what Yuck Mouth said? That's just one receipt. Just to show you that the line that he don't know me. Let me tell y'all why Tyron got so upset. Well, the main reason is because he remembered when I called him Jamie Foxx boy toy. Y'all don't know that. People in LA and all that know that. Any real person that knows him know that he's been living off of Jamie Foxx. Live with Jamie Foxx for the longest. I ain't saying Jamie Foxx, you bro. I guess you're talking about somebody living on somebody. You talk, you you over here eating off Tupac's story. Tupac been dead for 28 years, going on 30. And y'all still talking about Tupac and Death Row, bro. You still talking about Snoop Dogg. You still talking about Dr. Dre. You still talking about Daz Dillinger. You still talking about corrupt. You still talk about Miss Chalet. You still talk about Lady Rage. You still talk about DJ Quick. Come on, man. I ain't gonna say talking about somebody eating off somebody. This on and you talking about some shit about I forgot. You still talking about Suge Knight. How are we gonna say somebody? How you gonna say that about somebody? And all your recordings is about the same people. All your interviews is about the same people. Death Row been off the map for damn near 30 years. 
And you still talking about you, you you selling coloring books right now. Come on, man. You're talking about pot, man. Tupac been dead for 28 years, man. What else stories I got? What else stories I got on this dude? Motherfucker, know this motherfucker better than his own mama do. I mean, by now, shit. Use KY jelly on you. I don't know. But that's what the rumors is about him and Tyron Turner. But that's his business. Like Jamie Foxx. So I ain't going to shit on them too much for doing what they're doing in their privacy of Jamie Foxx's home. But Tyron, Tyron, unfortunately upset because he liked to talk all this tough guy stuff for whatever reason. But that's generally guys that are homosexuals. They over have to compensate for themselves and have to be tough. Like I said earlier, that's why every interview he's doing, he's beating up people, beating up everybody, or got into a fight with somebody. Tyron, unfortunately, is going to go and throw a jab and say something about my wife. Well, I don't know. I can't sit up here and deny everything that my wife has done or hasn't done in the past. She has denied it. Just like the KPD thing. But y'all always want to throw taps at Reg about your wife, your wife, your wife this, your wife that. My wife was fine back in 90. Because that's what you do. You talk about other people's wives too all the time, bro. They're doing the same thing you're doing. You be talking about people got this, they got that, they got this sexual disease, they got this, they got that. You be talking about everybody, bro. You be talking about everybody. So you get it. So when they make you a little dose of your own medicine, it's a problem. You type of motherfucker throw jokes but can't take none. You know what I'm saying? That's like motherfucker you. 93, 94, all their life. But it's always talking about shit that happened in 90. Four ninety three. I man, I am a type of nigga. If y'all don't learn anything from me, please learn this. You can't worry about if you didn't get a female out of junior high school and high school. <clears throat> I don't care. She's fifty years old. You don't worry about a woman did what they before they got with you. The only way you're gonna worry about what they did is once they with you. I didn't meet my woman until May of nineteen ninety five. So now he's trying to say that one of his homeboys, and he's talking about the brokers. And that's now his new claim of fame. Y'all gonna be seeing coming up in the next couple of days that on art show, if he haven't posted it yet, that he got on the phone talking about my wife make some type of noise when he, when she had, when they had sex or something like that in the nineties. She has denied that she said that she knew him. Went out with him, I think, a couple of times. But this was 93. Now, if this is his biggest claim of fame is that he slept with Reggie Wright, the wife now in 2024 is all he got to talk about. I think he was the Muslim guy in the show, something sweet. I can't even think of his name. Um Vante Sweet, is that his biggest claim of fame? Then okay, dog, have your twenty. I believe, bro, he played in a few movies. Y'all, y'all remember other movies he played in? Uh, leave, leave some comments in the comment section. I don't, I know any other movies he played in. He played in um, he played in Minutes Society too, though. He was the uh, he was the uh, the do the word of dashikis. You know what I'm saying? He, he was the one who the, was, was preaching the word and shit to Cain and them in the movie. That's what he played in. That's the, that's the other movie I know he played. He played in Men's Society too, though. You know what I'm saying? But I know any other movies he played in. Uh, please, please leave a comment in the comment section let me, and let us know. You minute of fame. You broke my love, obviously, because you ain't making no money. Because you ain't been in nothing but one or two movies since, boys, the, the little part that you had in Men's Society. So you two homosexuals better stay in your lane because I don't take taps lying down easily. I don't play with this on the internet. I don't fight. I ain't never had a fight in my life. 
And we can tell you, no, you can't fight now. Look at your hands. You got them Bob Doe hands. You can't even hold a pencil. You got them, your hands, your hands like you got like you got fins, dolphin fins. <laughs> hey, dude got them Reggie Wrights, no, I mean not the Reggie Wright, them Bob Doe's. <laughs> Damn. Other than when I was a cop. But you guys will learn. Play with somebody else, Tyron, little boy. You little fucking closet homosexual. Because that's what you are. That's why you always have any tough guy attitudes, fights, allegedly. All these stories about fights that you talk about on YouTube. You can tell your body language when they asked when Art asked you about Jamie Fox, how you started stuttering like you did when you was acting. When they boys said you done fucked up now, you don't fucked up now. You remember that how you started stuttering? You did that on Art Show again. You look zesty as hell with your legs crossed and all of that. But I know some of your fanboys gonna be like, oh, he's this, he's that. Okay. Okay. Ain't now had a little role, probably made ten thousand dollars off back in the nineties. Just that role, just that role he made, that's a hood classic. He was he's always going to be a he always gonna be a star in the hood just off that one movie. That's Kane, bro. That is Kane, bro. He's always going to be a star, a hood legend. Just off that movie that came out in the 90s, bro. Reggie, don't nobody know you. Only reason you even know because you was a security guard for Suge Knight Death Row. Motherfuckers didn't know who the fuck you was until the end of Death Row days, bro. And I guess Suge, I guess you're the only person Suge could Shook and punk at the given time, and shook and make you as flunky at the given time. Cause nobody else fuck with him no more, and you you took the rope. You feel what I'm saying? You was a cop, bro. You don't get no respect in the hood at all. You don't get no respect in the hood. Now motherfuckers probably fuck with your pops, but you don't get no respect in the hood, bro. You ain't known for shit. Only you know for being a cop and a security guard, bro. You trying to make yourself. You try to make yourself be known in other in other portions of that rope. You know what I'm saying? You keep trying to put yourself in other categories and shit like that. Yeah, you probably yeah, shit probably left you the business when he was locked up. He know that shit was going down. He know that shit was over with. So he left, he left you, he left the rest of the piece for you to carry. Fuck you. He like fuck this shit. This shit already over with. Fuck, I'm gonna deal with it for. You ain't make no big bread off this situation. For sure, for sure. You just say you living off your retired cop pension. You ain't getting no money like that for real. That's why you dropped all these videos on YouTube. Yeah. Better keep doing this little interviews and hope Art keep fucking with him. Because Art them got all of these lies verified. I, I bring receipts. I get this on the phone. And be like, here. Here's what the truth. This is what happened. This is what was said. Now your credibility is fucked up. But keep telling your stories. But as I always tell y'all on YouTube, ain't shit that I ain't never told y'all. Might take a little a while. May take a minute. But it eventually comes the truth. Y'all gonna hear about Tyron and Jamie now. Cause I'm worried bring people to talk about that. Cause the n that opened up a can of worms with Reggie Wright. The main reason that the tyrant is, is mad is because, as he admitted to me, and this is factual, that we found out that him and Michelle was having a, a relationship, and he got whooped on. And like I always say, he hate being associated or being saying that he got whooped on. But that's what happened to him. He keep trying to confuse you guys and talk about an incident that happened with Jay Prince where it doesn't even change. Where he said Jay Prince took him up there because behind some female. Now he done got educated, thought about it more, and talking about Jay Prince 
not Jay Prince, that him and Shug met up in 2003 or something like that at a, behind somebody talking shit about him at a barber shop. He can't even get his lies straight. Can't even remember his lies he just told a year ago. He's now saying it's behind him talking about him about Tupac and getting killed versus originally it was about a female when Jay Prince brought him up to death row offices. But the main reason is he hated it. I exposed that he got beat up by Shug and some of his homeboys, which, you know, that's a jump. That ain't no fair. It wasn't no straight up fair. He just got treated like a little bitch like he is. But mainly and more importantly is the main and more importantly thing is the guy that he talked about, Ray Phillips, <laughs> that he met you, he met Mr. Lay at a party with Ray Phillips. Y'all look up Ray Phillips. Ray Phillips is the biggest queer, biggest homosexual in Hollywood. He was the first Jason Lee of, of LA Hollywood in the 90s, before Jason Lee was even anybody. A little homosexuals talking recklessly in everybody business. So that's why I know now. And y'all look up how the Jason, how Ray Phillips died. I'm convinced now that that nigga liked taking it. And I'm not convinced anymore that he had a relationship with Mr. Lay. I believe he was hanging. Dan yeah, like, who haven't had a relationship with Mr. Mr. Lay? Mr. Lay, Mr. Lay was running, he was getting ran through by the whole team. <coughs> Everybody getting a little piece of her shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't see how, I mean, she was bad in the muffler back in the day, though. You know what I'm saying? She look hella different now. Okay? I'll be out on plastic surgery and shit. But back in the day, she was bad in the motherfucker. But that voice she got, boy. I don't know, maybe maybe because maybe, maybe because I wonder what her voice sound like when she moaning. You know what I'm saying? Y'all now niggas hitting it. She got that old squeaky voice now, you know what I'm saying? She got that type of voice. I don't know that motherfucker is irritated. I can imagine her listening to that all the damn time. Or when she uh, upset, crying, all the y'all, you know what I'm saying? Arguing with her and shit like that. Oh man, I can just imagine. You know, with people that hang around Ray Phillips. It's your boy, Mac Daddy 816. That was another uh episode of Reggie Wright talking about Kane. And Jamie Foxx, some of they, they, they in the closet, man. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what y'all think, man. Leave some comments at the bottom, man. Y'all think that shit's true or not? He just hating. You feel me? Don't forget to hit that like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Share this shit. And give me some comments, man. Leave some shit in the comments, man, for your boy. Uh, don't forget to tap in my podcast, Chat with the Mad Podcast, on all streaming platforms. You can, I'm going to leave links to all streaming platforms in my description area down at the bottom, too. So it's, I'm on all streaming platform, Apple, Spotify, iHeart, Samsung, all that, etc. I'm on all streaming platforms, man. You can't miss me. And I'm on YouTube as well. You know what I'm saying? Dope, dope content for y'all. Y'all can binge watch it, man. Y'all can relate to everything I'm talking about on the podcast. We're talking about a little bit of everything. You feel me? I got other reaction videos you can check out. I got my hood vlog you can check out. Show my little bit of my life but behind the scenes, me doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm a gamer too, though. My Twitch name is MacDaddy816. If y'all miss, y'all miss any of my lives, many any of my lives, I upload all my gaming videos to my YouTube channel. So you can check me out on my YouTube channel. If you miss any of my lives on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm balling, getting down on the mag, getting down on the 2K and other games as well. If you think you want some smoke, then you can fuck with me. Come tap on in. You can go see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got um I got, I got my shorts on there. I got my, my short videos, too. Comedy. Straight comedy. A little bit of everything on there. Y'all can sit there, bitch, watch some comedy shorts, too, though. This shit funny. You know what I'm saying? You can sit there, sit back and relax and, get, and have some good entertainment for the day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I also dropped the album called The Mac. It's called The Mac by Mac J. The Mac by Mac J. You can download it for free on Uh, You know what I'm saying? I am also had a link to that on in the description 
area as well. So it's a fire album. It's free. You know what I'm saying? You can ride to it, cook to it, get dressed to it, wake up to it in the morning time, get motivated to it, get inspired by it. I'll do the type of shit. I mean, you can play the album from one to the end. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like 12, I think it's like 11 or 12 songs on there. All fire, man. Can't skip not one song. I'm telling you, I promise that. You know what I'm saying? So you can download that album for free. It's called, it's called The Mac by Mac J. Yeah. Don't forget to tap in with the and don't forget to tap in the number one podcast, Chapter Man Podcast, your boy Mac Daddy 8 